Okay, so today we are in Glastonbury, and if you know about Glastonbury, you probably know about the tour. The tour being a large structure at the top of this hill. Now, the reason why I'm panting is I've got to climb from there, and I've got to get up there, and then I've got to turn right. So after that, then take the image. Now, I've managed to get here before sundown or the golden hour, just so I know. But after that, it's going to be better off. So what I'll do is turn the camera back on when I'm up there and see what I'm doing. my way back to you Till you make amends with the demons you've been through and I can't regret so I've shot the uh, Glassbury tour, it's just at the top there, you see I've got a B&B &B on, because, my beanie, because it's quite uh, windy up here, so probably the audio right now is crap, but I'm just going to show you what my last composition is, because I've just done a composition on the typical Glassbury tour, but I've just looked down here and got a lovely leading nine, so I'll just show you. There you go, if it just follows down, and then um, I think with that I've done an F11 with a one second exposure. I was going to use an ND filter and graduate downwards, but to be quite fair, that sky I could burn in with Lightroom, so it wouldn't make much of a difference. Leaving you alone until you find your way back home. Okay, so I'm heading back now. Um, I managed to fall down on Glastonbury tour of all places uh, because I'm not wearing the right footwear yeah Adidas trainers don't help <laughs> last week I did have proper tra uh, happy walking boots on but this week I managed to lose them so I couldn't really work that out so if you see the occasional drop here and there it's probably because I've been a tit <laughs> and I've got to get all the way down there See where that White House is? That's where I'll get. Now it's easy to get up here, because you're just climbers. But to get all the way down there, now it doesn't look as wide as you from here. But I've just come all the way from there to here. So dropping down was hard. But the images I got, I got a couple nice typical Glastonbury tour um Conversations. I don't care about if anyone else has shot them because it's for me. I only shoot for myself. But um, I got some really nice conversations, especially with the leading lines so with the trail coming up. Quite nice. Um, I think I'll do some long exposures after this. I normally finish every shoot with a long exposure. Um, it's only because they typically finish at like blue hour. So uh, blue hour is also a great time to do any kind of exposure. So. I'm going to cut to when I do get down there because I'm probably going to fall over and lose my camera. So, that was successful. So I'm going to go down to where Clark's Village is, if anyone knows where Clark's Village is. And I'm going to go take where the forest is and get in the middle of the road and see if I can get some long exposures. That should be fun. Okay, so so far I have done a couple of long exposures. And you know what? Not too bad actually, not too bad if I show you what you've done. So I don't know actually how well you can see me in the dark right now. Probably ISO right now is like shot up and the noise around my face looks horrible I look all grainy but I don't care it's the best I could do I'm using my Nexus 6P so uh, I'll show you the images I did create though so if we come down here I've done 30 long uh, 30 second exposures and the great thing with having the mirrorless camera I can see is in live view so go through it and right now it's there we go it should tone down and I'll bring that up on screen that was probably a better one and if I bring that down 
There you go. And that's a bit of a... I'll bring it up on screen. But where I'm doing it right now... Um, if I hide in the car to get some light on my face, basically, I've set 30 light, uh, second exposure with an F11. Um, it was close to having to do uh, bulb mode, but I have got a remote trigger. But just under, and I think it was just nice because we get the blue hour. Blue hour allows me to uh, capture the sky better at night, and it means the foliage in the um, cover, which is a, pretty much a forest right now. It's pretty good. So um, that's it really, really for the vlog. So if you'd like to like, comment and subscribe, and I will do more of these vlogs in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Way back home.